Sharks. Nature's bastards. In South Africa, we call them water pillocks or Satan's salty psychos. You can call them whatever you want, but know this. They are a mysterious and deadly presence, and the reason why I am just a head on a plinth. My name is Rex Monolith. I am a shark whisperer, and this is my story. Shark. Shark. Shark whispering. You see the difference? Let's do it again. Shark. Shark. Shark whispering. Shark whispering. Shard whispering. Not the same. Shark whispering. You see what I'm talking about now? Shark whispering is when I swim up to a shark and whisper something nice into its ear. Things like, hey, Mr. Shark, you look good today. Or, hey, fish, you big fish. Where are you going? Why are you swimming to? Can I come? No? Cool. Bye. Sharks are not the bloodthirsty killers you people make them out to be. Sometimes, and with the right amount of tranquilizer, they can be placid and docile creatures. <laughs> with a wonderful sense of humor and a terrific joie de vivre. Take this guy, for example. <laughs> Frank! Big, happy, hungry, horny Frank. <laughs> Scathing wit. Oh, great with kids. <laughs> I've whispered to him maybe four or five times, and each time, without fail, I've swum back to shore minus a limb. Sometimes my love of whispering came at a great, great cost. This is my wife. <sighs> Barbara, Barbara. Massive hands. Oh. She used to love to toss me from hand to hand all day long. <laughs> I knew we would stay together for the rest of her life. We were out whispering, diving, hanging out with old Frankie when he turned on her and attacked. I thought he was just coming in for a cuddle. You know, he wanted a little bit of that big swollen hand action. But no, I was wrong. He ate her and he burped. Last time I saw her, was inside Frank's cheek, waving adieu. It was the last time I saw Frank, too. You know, I've often wondered, if ever I saw Frank again, would I hold a grudge? Would I be angry or would I be sad? Would the shark whisperer turn shark shouter? Well, not a chance, as this little demonstration right now will prove. Bring him in. This is Frank's agent. Martin Baraclough of Martin Baraclough Talent Management. Martin has agreed to be a go-between between between myself and Frank in order to bridge a, a truce between us. Hello, Martin. How's things? Yeah? Life good? Family? Martin, I'm going to whisper to you now. Because we are above water, the whispering may sound slightly strange. But please, don't be freaked out. I mean, why would you be? Right? Just a head on a plinth, talking to a goldfish, passing a message on to a great white shark. Okay, let's whisper. Hello, Marty. Hello, Marty. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. I wonder if you wouldn't mind telling Frank something for I miss him. I love him. I know he must feel terrible for what he did to Barbara. But I forgive him for that. Do you think you can say that to him for me? For me. Thanks, Marty. You can take him away now. Don't forget. What I said, Marty. What will be, will be, huh? Eh? <laughs> Just spending time with these fantastic creatures, invading their personal space and observing their behavior is never less than an honor and a privilege for me. Don't let life pass you by. When you see it, do what I do. Punch it on the nose and stick two barrels in it. <laughs> I've been Rex Monolith. This has been Shark Whispering. Thank me and good night. (laughs) 
Check out our other hilarious Dave Talks videos below.